The purpose of this video is to show you how to download, install, and log in to your Zoom classrooms for delivering your synchronous lectures to Northwest College, Glendale Career College, and Nevada Career Institute students during alternate delivery. Step 1. Go to zoom.us slash download. Click on the download button for Zoom client for meetings. Once your download is done, click on open. The installer will initialize. Doesn't take long to install, and once you've installed, you will have the app. Once you've downloaded your app, go to the bottom left hand corner of Windows and in the type here to search box, type Zoom and then start your Zoom app or click open. Once you are in your Zoom app, you must sign in. After you have clicked sign in, you must put in the email address of your Zoom classroom. Do not forget to add the at success.edu to the user email of your Zoom classroom. You are likely to get a document with just the first portion of that email address. You must add the at success.edu to the information you get. For example, we are going to log into the classroom for Northwest College West Covina Medical Assistant. Do not forget the at success.edu. Next, you must enter the password given to you for your Northwest College West Covina Medical Assistant Classroom or whatever classroom you are logging into that you were given by either the Education Department or your Campus Director. In this example, we're logging in, as said earlier, to the Northwest College West Covina Medical Assistant Zoom Classroom. After typing in the password, click on Sign In. Once you reach this part of the process, you are now signed in to that specific Zoom classroom. However, you are not inside the Zoom meeting. To start your Zoom lecture session with your students, you must pay close attention to the following steps. Click on the downward facing arrow next to New Meeting. Make sure that both check marks start with video and use my personal meeting ID are checked. If these are not checked, you will have issues delivering your lectures and your students will not be able to join you. Please make sure you have checked both start with video and use my personal meeting ID. Once you've assured that both of those are checked, you can begin your meeting. To begin your meeting, click on the new mean meeting button and your meeting window will appear. You will also get the options to join with computer audio. It's very important to click join with computer audio so others can hear you. Once you have clicked Join with Computer Audio, you will be able to maximize the meeting window. The rest of your app will be minimized. To maximize your meeting window, 
click on the maximize button to start and stop your video camera press the camera shaped icon on the bottom left hand corner to mute yourself out press the mute button if you'd like to share your screen click on share screen and the easiest way to do this is to share the screen instead of picking one of the options of the windows that you're open with when you share your screen every single window that you have that you go to will be shared so if you want to open up a PowerPoint presentation and then go back to an Excel or a Word file during your lecture it will follow you along whatever you do so the best practice is to share your screen or the easiest way to do it I should say is to share your screen when you click on share you'll get a control area that says that you are sharing your screen everybody in the zoom classroom can see your screen you can share a video on the web although it's not recommended because the audio won't be very good it's better to paste links into Moodle with the videos you want to share but you can share a PowerPoint presentation and you can pick out your PowerPoint presentation and maximize it and everybody in your zoom classroom can follow along as you lecture when you're done with your PowerPoint presentation and you're pausing your lecture you press escape and you can minimize your PowerPoint presentation when you are ready to go back to your video teleconference stop the share by clicking stop share and you will be back in your zoom classroom and you'll be able to see the participants as well as yourself feel free to explore how to work inside of zoom and zoom with a colleague or family member using your account but please make sure that when your class is done 10 minutes prior to your end of lecture as you lecture for 50 minutes with a 10 minute break and another 50 minutes you must go to the bottom right hand corner and click on end meeting to dismiss all of your students from the lecture to vacate your zoom lecture room for the class that's going to use it after you do for common courtesy please make sure you exit your lecture room 10 minutes prior to the start time of the colleague that will start using the same Zoom lecture room after you. You can handle additional questions inside of Moodle discussion forums where your students can post questions and you can answer questions in real time during the asynchronous time after your lecture or before your lecture if you're lecturing the second part of the four hour day or the second part of your five or six hour day depending on the program that you teach you will be able to lecture and complete your discussion forum questions and the students will complete their activities inside of Moodle so once inside of Moodle the students can participate in their classrooms via discussion forums. For example, this is a vocational nursing Moodle classroom. And inside of the news forum, you can handle um, posting new topics and answering questions for your students that they may have posted. And you can ask thought -provo provoking questions for them as well. This concludes how to use Zoom. Once again, remember to end your meeting so you can resume instruction in Moodle. I'm going to do that right now.
end meeting for all will immediately dismiss everybody in the meeting. Please make sure you do this 10 minutes before the end of your lecture period. Thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope that it's been helpful in letting you work with Zoom. And thank you once again for stepping up for our students during this alternate delivery modality period. For all of Northwest College, Glendale Career College, and Nevada Career Institute students, 